surrendered less than a week later, bringing to an end World War II. The decision by President Harry Truman to use the atomic bomb has been debated ever since. So how does it look three quarters of a century later, especially from the vantage point of someone who was there on the ground? Harry Smith has our Sunday Spotlight. July 16, 1945, of that first successful detonation of a nuclear weapon in New Mexico, Robert Oppenheimer, the head of the Los Alamos Laboratory, reacted this way. Lying from the Hindu scripture, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Three days later, Nagasaki is the target, with a similar result. That one day, it was the worst day in my life. That day, I lost my everything. What happened, Grandpa? Could you please share it with me? I was just six years old then. That day transformed my whole life. On that day, we were engaged on our routine works. Suddenly, we heard a loud noise with a dazzle light. We didn't understand anything, but after a while, all the things we enjoyed, all the sights we saw, everything, everything was just turned into ashes. What are you making, Grandpa? Son, I am making sadako. Wow, sounds sarcastic. Yes, sadako is made every August 6th in the memory of victims of Hiroshima bomb blast. Oh nice! Let me try. Yes you can. of bombing attack on Hiroshima by the United States during Second World War. In 1945, August 6, the United States dropped an atomic bomb in the city of Hiroshima by an American B-29 bomber in Second World War. The nuclear bomb named Little Bomb. Oh. The explosion wiped out almost 90 percent of city killing, thousands of people apart from killing. Japanese also suffered from terrible burn and radiation sickness. But Japan did not surrender in the war. After three days, on August 9, the second bomb was dropped in Nagasaki. The bomb named Fat Man. The project was known as Manhattan Project. Finally, the Emperor of Japan, Sohita, announced unconditional surrender in Second World War by radio on August 15.